All right, what up, y'all? So we're just going to jump right into it. So uh, I ordered this thing off of eBay to check the check engine lights and all of that. So uh, I'm in the Jag right now. So I had a check engine light come on, I don't know, a while ago. But uh, this way, I should at least be able to check what it is. And I already been to AutoZone, got it checked over there. So I know what it is, but I want to at least be able to check it myself. So as you can see... Got us a check in the light. So this plugs up uh, in the OBD2 port, which should be under here somewhere. Let's see if I can find this on video for y'all. Hold on, let me turn the flash on. All right, so steering wheel down this way. There we go. So plug right there. We're just gonna plug this up. Open this door so I can see. So yeah, once this thing is uh, plugged up, it'll turn itself on. So it's not touchscreen, so you gotta use these actual things right here. So, uh, let's turn this on. Diagnose. This should, uh, this should read everything and let you know what the codes are. Okay. Read codes. So, this should pull up. Yeah, I got a few. So, I'm going to have some misfires in here from like a week or so ago. Uh, I was doing something. And uh, one of the vacuum lines came loose. So, it was running crazy from that. And then, uh, so yeah, I'm sure yeah, all of these are going to show up for a minute. But, uh, so that was that. So, first was this thousand revolutions so yeah a lot of that was from that it's actually running smooth this is the code that's been stuck here for a minute uh the first one that popped up so evap emission system leak detection pump or whatever so this was the code i had when i went to autozone and got it checked i'm guessing i just gotta drive it for a while and uh get these codes to actually go away but yeah all of the misfires from that vacuum line that came loose but anyway, uh, press OK, or you can press this little back arrow right here. If you got a regular code and you just want to get rid of it, you can just click right there to erase. Turn on, ignition is on, engine is off, press enter, which is really OK. And then you should get, uh, boom, codes are cleared. Now I'm going to turn this off unplug it once you unplug it this should turn off so unplug that's off let's crank this up and the check engine light should be gone there we go no engine light so that is uh really all i need to stand for so is actually i think it's paid like 30 something dollars for this I'm pretty sure you can get one that does more, but for the average person, this is really all you need. It'll tell you what your code is, give you a small description of like what it means, like what the code means. And uh, yeah, if you want to clear them, you can clear them. So you should be good to go. I, I'm going to put a link. I think it was like $35, but uh, yeah, not bad for $35. Get you, get you to uh, what you need to do. So uh, yeah, pretty dope. No more light, at least for now. And then I come back and figure out what that actual, uh, the EVAP thing is. I don't know if that's like a gas cap or something else in that system. But, uh, yeah, it's not stopping me from driving. So we're going to keep rolling and fix that later. But $37 worth the money.